Next question is from Brady Sims 3. When should you use and not use a lifting belt? Well, first of all, it's up to you. Uh, so you can use one or not. Not that big of a deal, but I'll put these people in the category of people that probably should use a lifting belt. Uh, number one, people who compete in strength events that use lifting belts. Mm -hmm. So like if you're a power lifter or a strong man and your event allows you to use a weightlifting belt, power lifters for sure, uh, they always wear belts um, or, or it's allowed in competition, then you're going to want to wear a belt when you lift because there's a technique and a skill to using a belt. You don't just put one on and then voila, you feel stronger and more stable. There's actually a skill and technique to learning how to use one properly and how to maximize the leverage and the stability that a belt provides. The other person is the person that likes to have fun with their lifts and wants to learn the difference between lifting with a belt and not with a belt. Most people probably, you probably never need to pick up a belt. It probably doesn't really make a big difference. I use a belt because years ago I trained with one and I had fun with it. Until this day, I have fun using a belt, especially if I'm going really heavy. But truth be told, um, I probably would be better off not using a belt and just getting my core to be really good and stable and strong without a belt because it's a totally different uh, muscle recruitment pattern. Stabilizing without a belt is different than stabilizing with, with a belt. Yeah, I would also throw in uh, there, if you're in a competitive athletic environment, mainly because a lot of times, like, and this is my experience and a lot of other athletes' experience, when you're working out with the team and you're in the gym and everybody's in there together, it's just like you're always trying to do more. You're trying to load more. You're trying to uh, really push yourself uh, to, to, to the extremes and, and almost to the, to the point where you come to max load and, and you're doing PRs all the time. So to you know have that as an extra insurance, I could see that being valuable in that environment. Um, but for your average person, uh, for me, I, I like, I like to go for a long time without it. it and, you know, you can experiment, have fun with it and, and whatnot. Uh, but to, to find out what you can truly stabilize and what you can truly control means that you actually own that weight. And that's just something I've always stuck with, uh, because my body is going to give me the indication whether or not, like I feel, I, I don't feel like I can, I can brace, uh, that amount of weight, uh, properly. So that's, mm -hmm. that's an indication to me that I need to go down a bit in load. Do you guys remember the last time you used a belt? Uh, I use a long time. Ago. I use one at least once a week. Oh, okay. You're yeah. that. You're that. Oh, you're more than me. Then I, you know, I, have I thought I thought you were less. Actually, I, I went off for a while, and then I, I mean, I have fun with it. I again, I learned. Remember, you know, the story I talk about it's those power lifters that taught me how to squat and deadlift. Mm -hmm. They also taught me how to use a belt, and so since I was 16, I've been using a belt on and off. In fact, uh, I had the old belt I wore when I was 16 up until about six years ago, and I gave it to one of my clients when I stopped uh, personal training. But I, it, to me, it's it, there's a different feel around it, maybe some nostalgia. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if, I mean, training clients, I had Doug wear one sometimes. I had another guy wear one sometimes, but I never had anybody else wear a belt. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know you were using it even that much because I know you're, obviously you don't talk about using it that often. I, I would say I was probably, I thought I was using it the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't used it in months just because it's where I'm at right now in my lifting. Where I saw the most value is like when I was competing and, you know, I would just, I, I was doing so much volume that my low back a lot of times would be fried and then I'm getting ready to go do some exercise and I just want to take it out of it. I don't mm -hmm. want I don't want my low back to be the first thing to get fatigue and give out. I'd trained myself to use a belt long enough and so me being able to stabilize and have some external uh, existence with that uh, made it nice when I was lifting. Similar to how I use straps. Straps are the same way too. I just didn't. I didn't see a lot of, of value in using them for overall strength and what like what Justin like tends to train for doesn't make sense to me for somebody like yeah. that unless you're competing but when you're sculpting and you're a bodybuilder and you're trying to isolate parts of the body all the time it, to me i understand where someone like that uses tools like that more frequently than the average person otherwise it can end up being a crutch and the people that tend to gravitate towards using a belt think that they because they have low back issues or problems that they should use a belt and that's mm -hmm. the safer way to go when in reality that person would probably be better off not using a belt yeah that makes a lot of sense actually because you, you know in that 
in that frame of thought, there's a lot of uh, benches and positions and things that they specifically use to give you relief from fatigue so you can just isolate the muscles. So to me, that seems like a natural Bo fit. Bodybuilders wear belts differently than powerlifters do too. So yeah. powerlifters will put on a belt, heavy lifts. Bodybuilders put on a belt because they think it, it shrinks their waist. And so you'll see them wearing a belt to like do- Like all day long. Yes. They're, they're hitting arms and they'll wear yeah, a belt. They're yeah, hitting I chest- I have issues with that. And they wear a belt. Um, but you know, bodybuilding is an aesthetic sport. So right. everything revolves around aesthetic. And especially at that level, it's, look, yeah, here's the deal. If you're the average person and you want to build muscle and you like to follow a bodybuilding routine, that doesn't mean you do the stuff that the advanced bodybuilders do. That's a whole different level. Like- are you going to wear a belt and, and to make sure your waist doesn't grow or something? Like, it's not going to help you no. uh, at that level. Now, if you're a 300 pound bodybuilder, you're on growth hormone and you're on yeah. testosterone. And it's all turned stuff. into an accessory, like a yeah. like a like a clothing accessory. You know, that's yeah. like to you have your name on the back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you just if you walk into Beast. the if you walk into the gym and you've got your you know, belt over your shoulder and your gallon of water. I mean, you just that was you. Yeah, bro. I mean, you're, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm announcing I'm a bodybuilder. You know, what I'm saying that's just, it's it's become it's become that. You know, right? So and you and, had your beats around your neck, right? Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. And my stringer, right, underneath yeah. my my Leggings. super thick yeah. oversized sweater. I yeah, because you just, gotta get a pump first. Yeah, right? yeah, so. no, that's all right. And then scare everybody afterwards. Look at that dude over there, oh right? So no, no. I mean, there's to me, it's it's a tool, right? I mean, I think you you're alluding to that, Sal. That yes. it's 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 a tool cool and it has value um but for the for most people you should be training with it as little or as never right or never like yeah. you, there's no reason for you to do it unless you're sport it changes recruitment patterns when you wear a belt your core pushes out, out. against the belt yeah. to stabilize when you don't have a belt your core braces mm -hmm. totally different if you get really good with a belt and you all you ever do is wear a belt when you go out to brace your core in the real world you might find you yourself, yourself having problems mm -hmm. exactly